breaking news. Iyang Ekwo, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja, has ordered a stay of proceedings in the 7.1 billion naira fraud case against Oji Uzokalu, a former Abia State governor. The EFCC had preferred a 36 count charge against Kalu and Ude Jones Udeogo, a formal director of finance and accounts in Abia in 2007. While the former governor backed 12 years imprisonment in December 2019, Udeogu was sentenced to 10 years in prison. However, the Supreme Court on May 8, 2020 voided the trial and ordered a retrial after an appeal court uh, after an appeal for appeal filed by Carlos co defendants but Mr. Kalu, in an ex parte application, sought the leave of court to apply for an order of prohibiting the Federal Republic of Nigeria through the EFCC, its officers, servants, orders, agents, privies, and any other person or bodies deriving authority from the Federal Republic of Nigeria from retrying him on charge number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 56 slash 2007 between the Federal Republic of Nigeria versus Oji Uzokalu and two others, or any other charge based on the same facts de novo. There have been no exempt judgment and ruling of a competent court in Nigeria mandating the same. Kalu said he was exempted from the retrial order of the Supreme Court as it was particular to his court defendant. He said it will amount to double jeopardy if he is subjected to a fresh trial on the same charge. Ruling on the application on Monday, Equa granted leave to the defendants to pursue his application, seeking to stop his retrial. Equo ordered a stay of proceedings until the determination of the application. So therefore, it means that the trial of one of the kind of uh, Ojuz Okalu, I beg your pardon, on the charges of corruption of 7.1 billion naira has now been halted, meaning that until the outcome of the file that Ojiz Okalu made to stop his free trial, there will be no any case. The EFCC cannot um, try him or the, no court can try him until the outcome of that judgment. Well, it is what it is. What are your thoughts, guys? There are several reactions to this particular situation and development as it were. Let's quickly take a few of them so we can have a better understanding of how people feel about this particular case and uh, what people think of Oji Zokalu uh, as pertains to the charges against him by the EFCC. Someone just said, here we go. Endless frivolous applications to stall and evade real justice. The systemic pain is that these frivolous applications are not filed or prosecuted by junior lawyers. All right, guys, what do you think concerning this opinion? Endless frivolous applications to stall and evade the real justice. Do you agree with this opinion? Could it be right? Well, to a very large extent, that is what, you know, that is how people evade justice in Nigeria because court cases are no longer um, instant. They are not within a time frame, you know. The lawyers, the judges all know what they do when it comes to issues like this. And that is why in Nigeria, you can be in court for 10, 15, 20 years on a particular uh, charge, as it were. And um, it is sad and unfortunate that to a very large extent, it is these uh, elites, politicians, those who are well-to-do, that enjoy this um, 
we should we call it privilege as it were though it is abnormal and it ought not to be so but they enjoy it because they have money they spend money and uh you know they continue to adjourn 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 file for this file for that and everything and before you know the case is forgotten but people who are not well to do the poor the middle age or middle level uh, people in the society you know before you know it the, the case is prosecuted and they are sentenced and they just have to go to jail and serve but it is what it is this is nigeria another person says i'm not a lawyer but if there can't be a retrial then that means he should go back to kuje and finish the former sentence of 12 years this is simple as abc okay guys do you agree with that it depends on the interpretation that is given in as much as it depends on the uh, prosecuting lawyer to be able to know what he's doing and uh, come up with blockades to whatever the um, other lawyer would be coming up with the brilliance of the prosecuting lawyer that's the EFCC's lawyer would go a long way to speak in this case since the Supreme Court said the judge that sat and uh, gave verdict or judgment on Oji Zokalu and his company and the other man was not fit to do so it, had, it, it at the same time means that the judgment was invalid so there should be another judgment or another proceeding another uh, uh, retrial but that is what uh, beg your pardon all Jesus Carlo is trying to evade and he doesn't want it because he probably knows that the evidences are already there so this case will continue like this for only God knows how long Another person says the case is hereby dismissed. Trial by prejudice has no antecedent in Nigerian legal system. You cannot convict someone because you hate him. That was why the conviction was voided by the Supreme Court. Those praying for Oji Zokalu to be sent back to prison should go and occupy the executive cell he vacated. He left the cell for them. Okay, guys, what are your thoughts? This uh, person seems to be a supporter of uh, Oji Zokalo, but you know it's what it is another person says all this grammar is just a delaying tactics exactly that is what some people are also opining on this particular situation it is sad and unfortunate that you know uh, let me not say justice may not prevail but uh, the wish of the people of the majority of the people may not come to pass if things go like this but however we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold those who are in the ruling party and in the ruling class of the country will always have advantages over others and that is what it appears to be but however Oji Zokalo is leading and is winning as the court has halted his retrial well it remains to be seen how things eventually turns out Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.